don't stop hoping. Hope gets us out of bed, it energizes us, it focuses our attention, it pulls us out of ourselves. Hope overcomes our fears. As Tim Keller puts it, human beings are hope-shaped creatures. The way you live now is completely controlled by what you believe about your future. Hope, as Keller suggests, is how we think about our future. Hope is seeing our future as good, believing that things will be okay. Let us not lose hope because we do not know the twists and turns of life. While we still have life, there is still hope. If there is a break that has not come yet, do not lose hope. Here are three hope boosters for you. Tip number one, continue to have faith. It says in Hebrews 11 verse 1, Faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. Faith is to continue to hope that what you are praying and hoping will soon come according to God's timing and will of God. Hoping, though, is not just feeling good and having a positive mindset. It is more than that. It is bringing God to a hopeless situation and seeing Him work and bring out the best result according to His will. Tip number two. Continue to count your blessings. The fruit of your labor may not have come yet, but it is sure that you still have a lot of blessings to thank for. Open your eyes and cultivate a grateful heart so you can see the blessings that are already in you. Sometimes we become tired and impatient, but when you start looking around you, you will come to realize that you have more than enough to thank for. Tip number three, continue to hope that God has the best in store for you. God's timing is still the best. Your plans may not come to reality, but what had happened to you is a preparation for a greater responsibility and bigger blessing for you.